guys, this is Pete and welcome to the very first episode of PC Repair for Dummies. Now guys, the purpose of this series is going to be to show you guys how to maintain and do some basic repairs on your computers. Now I know that there's a lot of tech heads out there that know an awful lot about computers. So these uh, episodes, I guess, are not really for you. This is just for uh, the average mum and dad, Joe Blow, that uh, doesn't really know much about their machines and would like to know how to do some basic maintenance and certainly some basic repair. I've got to tell you, this one over here, guys, check this out. <laughs> that needs a bit more than basic repair, that one. <laughs> now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the various topics and various subjects in each of these series, and I'm certainly going to try and keep them short and informative. I would also like to encourage any of you guys out there uh, to email me with any issues or problems that you might be having and I will certainly do my best to answer those issues or show you how to resolve those issues in an upcoming video. Now tonight I'm going to show you one of the most common problems with an older computer and it's really quite easy to fix. So guys, has this ever happened to you? Turned on your power button and look at that, no signal to monitor. Hey? Oh dear. Now a lot of you people would immediately pack up your machine and race it straight off to the nearest PC repair shop. But no, 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 you don't always have to do that. Now the most common cause for this issue, believe it or not, people say, oh, motherboard, video card, whatever. And yes, those problems can cause this issue. But the most common cause is RAM, memory. And quite often it's just a matter of reseeding the memory and it'll fix your issue. So we're going to have a go on this old busted ass machine here tonight, gang. And we're going to see. But firstly, I'd just like to explain to you a little bit about, uh, about RAM. There are three or four different types of RAM, and uh, let's go through them right now. So firstly, guys, what is RAM and what does it do? Okay, that's a good question, and I'm so pleased to ask. All right, so RAM is basically, uh, okay, it's, it's temporary memory or virtual memory in your machine. Now, there's two different types of memory in a computer. There's your stored memory, which is in your disk drive or your hard drive, and then you have your temporary memory, which is your RAM. Now, typically speaking, the more RAM you have in your machine, the faster and the better that it's going to run, up to a point. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you, there's actually four different types of RAM, but this is what a stick of RAM looks like. For the purpose of this exercise tonight, we're only going to talk about the three older styles of RAM, I guess. There's some new RAM called DDR3 that's out now, which is... Uh, Pretty damn whiz bag lightning quick. But once again, for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to talk about old RAM. Okay, now this is the stick of RAM. Now this is called SD RAM. This is the very, very early RAM. And if your machine is over about 12 years old, then there's a good chance it's going to contain SD RAM. Now how can you tell that it's SD RAM? Well, firstly it's got the big chipsets on it, like this. But SD RAM all has two little slots right there. Okay? Now, if your machine takes SD RAM, no other type of RAM is going to fit it. That's very old stuff, and it's, uh, I've got to tell you, pretty hard to get. It's virtually impossible to buy new anymore. There are still quite a bit of second-hand stuff uh, getting around on eBay, but uh, it's a bit dodgy buying second-hand RAM. Now, if you have an old machine that is failing and needs an upgrade, and it's running SD RAM, take a tip from me, guys. Throw the bastard out and get yourself a new one. <laughs> Right, then you have a DDR1 RAM. Now, DDR1 RAM still has the big chipsets on it like this. But if you notice, it only has one slot there, okay? And that's why SD RAM and DDR RAM are not compatible. It physically won't fit in the motherboard. All right, and then you have the more modern DDR2 RAM. Now, this stuff's been around for about five years now. Now, uh, the only way you can really tell that it's DDR2 RAM is that it has the smaller chipsets on it as you can see there guys, small little chipsets and the DDR RAM is much faster and uh, you know it's impossible to upgrade from DDR1 to DDR2 RAM because once again it won't fit, you have to upgrade your motherboard, CPU and everything else but most machines nowadays contain DDR2 RAM Righto, so where is the RAM stored in your machine? Okay, let's go have a look Tucked in behind all this mess in here you'll see your RAM, now RAM is pretty much always in about the same spot some machines have one stick in them, some machines have two. This machine has the facility to put in two sticks of RAM. Some machines have up to four sticks of RAM in them. This machine only has one. And the most common issue with a machine not showing a signal to monitor is that this RAM is either faulty or dirty or just needs to be reseated. Okay, so let's go and reseat this RAM right now. 
Now again, it's vital before you reseat RAM, absolutely vital, that you disconnect the power. Now not because there's any fear of being electrocuted, because computers work on low voltage, around about 12 volts, but because you can damage the RAM even if you switch it off by turning off the power button. If it's still plugged in at the back, you can damage the RAM. All right. So, firstly we're going to just shut it off. This one's got the front cover missing off it, but we're just going to shut the machine down, do a forced shutdown, holding in the power button, and then we're going to disconnect the power from this machine. Okay? This is absolutely vital, gang, that you disconnect the power. All right. Now we're going to lay the machine down and we're going to reseat the RAM. Let's do it. Come along, have a look. Okay, we're going to pop the machine down here. And as you can see, the RAM is sitting under there. Now the RAM contains two little clips that hold it in. Right. And I'll just give you guys a look at these two little clips. You can see here, a little white clip there holding it in. They're generally white. You just pop that back like that. And you do the same for the RAM up the top there. There's always a clip at the top and a clip at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to unclip the top one as well. We're going to take the RAM out. There's the sticker RAM. Now, the contacts here, you can just give them a little bit of a wipe with a little bit of dry tissue paper. In my case, I'm going to use my sexy shirt. Okay, now the RAM can only go in one way. You might notice that the slot is offset, which means that there is only one way that it can go back in. Okay, so making sure that you have the RAM facing around the right way. Be very, very gentle with it. Clip it back in, push it down hard until both the clips click back into place so that you know that it's secured in there firmly. Alright, and there it is, sitting back where it should be. Okay, let's take this bad boy back now and fire it up and see if we've solved the issue. What do you reckon? <laughs> okay, pop him back up here on the bench. And plug him all back in. Now it's vital, gang, when you plug in these machines back in, that the very last thing you plug in is the power, okay? Plug in the keyboard and the mouse, the Ethernet connection and the monitor. The very last thing is the power. Okay, make sure your monitor's turned on. Fire them up. Let's see what happens. Oh, keep your fingers crossed, gang. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Voila! There we go. Well, we had a picture of the monitor. <laughs> I might have talked a bit too soon. <laughs> oh, dear. You've got to love these old machines. They take about five minutes to get started. There you go. Problem solved. A simple reset of the RAM. So there you go again, I hope you've learned something today. Okay. How to resolve an issue of no signal to monitor. <laughs> now if you try this fix and you put your computer back together again and it blows up and it burns your house down, don't sue me, alright? <laughs> alright guys, thanks for watching. This is Pete, love you. Well there you go guys, my very first video on my new channel teaching you all about PC repair for dummies. Thanks so much for watching, gang. And if you can't remember my channel name, it's like, uh, oh, what's his name, you know? That Aussie bloke. <laughs> See you, gang. Love you.